Have you ever seen a human play as AWACS in BMS? This role is called GCI, or Ground Controlled Interceptor. It's a role that anyone can fill with a few adjustments to your BMS setup. I have GCI'd a few times and I enjoy it a lot and I would like to share it with the community. New picture. Picture is three groups. Northern group, 0 9 or 4, 113. Hostile, 27,000. Trek, west. Center group, split, two bandits cold, two bandits hot. Panther 1-1. One, one. Distance, 13 miles. So first, you would want to go to the BMS forums. There is a thread, I will link it in the description below, about F4 radar. So you need this to be able to have this picture. So you'll be, ha you'll be able to have this picture, you'll be able to see everybody in there, uh, their, comms, their call signs, their altitude and speed, and you'll be able to see everything in there and give actual bullseye calls and bra calls for everybody in the package. So first, you'll need to download, go to this website, go to this link, and then download Tumblr 3 Runs um, software here. And you might have to do a little bit of update depending on your computer. But follow this, it's very, very thorough. So let's follow this to the T, and you should be able to have it working in no time. So IVC setup, before, when you get everything installed, you will need to set up a, an IVC separately from uh, an IVC shortcut separately from when BMS launches it. Because when you launch BMS, log into a server, it automatically launches the, the IVC uh, client and launches and puts you into their server. So what I've done is I install the F4 radar inside of my tools folder. So it goes in here, then F4 radar. And there's the tool right there. But with the IVC, you'll need to go into that. So you go to bin, 64, IVC, and then you create a shortcut first. So you right click on your client, right click, create shortcut, and it'll create a shortcut right here. In your shortcut, so you'll create the shortcut, put it on your desktop, and then in that shortcut, you right click on it and go to properties you put in this line right here. So forward slash K forward slash N underscore or correction, equal sign, all spark or your call sign, then brackets GCI and then forward slash S. And then this is to, this is the default. If you're, if you're going to host your own, this basically loops you in to, to be able to log into your own server. So you launch it separately, you'll put in the server IP in this block right here. So after you put it in there, then you'll log in. So as you see here in front of you, I've created a syllabus to help air battle managers and to fill in the GCI role in BMS. You go through here, there's the table of contents there, but the important part is this, the GCI starter guide. So I explained, create your own call sign, download F4 radar, current is 0.35, Create IVC shortcut, put it on your, on your desktop, edit it just like this, put in K, N, and then your call sign for, uh, for your in-game GCI, so you'll know who is who. After you do that, make sure that all players have the outsiders equals all in the I, IVC config file and remove the, the hashtag. So this right here, it'll be... In your bin folder 64 IVC, be called IVC client.ini, right click on that, or open that, and then go down to this line, change, uh, change, make sure that it's all, equals all, and remove the hashtag on the left side. All right, so here's a dry run to set up your GCI when, you, when you're running BMS after you installed it. So first, I will, uh, you launch BMS, then you log into whatever server you're going to. So I'm going to go to I'm hosting my server. So I'm going to go into the server. The only thing with this page is make sure you have this unchecked and this unchecked. This allows for BMS to, for you to manually launch IVC. If these are checked, then IVC will automatically be launched by BMS and you don't want that. So uncheck these and log into your server and press connect. Connection established. Once it's established, go to whatever online game you're playing. 
I'm just going to use this as an example. I'm going to commit online, press OK. Logs me in with when if you have people playing, so let's just say, let's pause this. Let's just say all these people are in here. They're all players. They're all players here. So you need to create a single jet for you to use if you want to go into 3D. So once you have that, make sure you're there. You can do, you can make, you can make a uh, steer point lines. You can make threat circles. You could make different type of threat diamonds. So you could do all these different things you want. Make sure you do the, the quick click dance to save your cartridge. And once you do that, you will want to launch the IVC client, the same client that you edited in the, the target line. So you want to launch that. Put in the IVC IP address of the server that you logged into. Press connect. These two boxes here are your frequencies. You have to put, a, put them in manually. So the default frequency for IVC when in 2D is 339-750. You put that in, press change frequency, and it changes your frequency in there, and you're able to talk with F1 and F2 if you have a frequency in Victor. So after you do your IVC check, everybody can hear each other. Then you will want to open up F4 radar. And F4 radar actually resets your frequency, so make sure you put those back in before you um, start, f before your team and package gets to the AO and starts calling you. But so change that, and now that's done. You can minimize that. So F4 Radar has launched. You bring it down in the middle, and then you'll launch in the game. And the time is going by really fast. You can actually see all the aircraft moving super fast. Actually, I'm in, I'm in Balkans, actually. Balkans, change it real quick so you can do it at any point in time. So I have the Balkans here, and it has the them going like really, really fast, so that's why the line is really long. Once you're in 3D, I'm in 3D here, you can click, press T, press Taxi for Departure, Good afternoon. it'll put Bravo. you in the queue, two, you're number two for departure. Taxi. and then Zulu. after, and hold short. One way, two, three. you'll say return to ramp, Tomcat, three. Taxi. Zulu. Bravo. And hold short. One way, two, three. Tomcat, three, taxi in. Waha, two, one, taxi to the ramp. Welcome back. And then you taxi to the ramp that removes you from the queue, so you're done with BMS. Now you would go into your F4 radar, and you'll be able to see everything. So on my mouse, the left side is the first number you would say, and the right side is the second number. So the left side is the heading from bullseye, the right side is the distance from bullseye. So my... My bullseye is right here, so this bullseye over here is 10184. That's the bullseye of my mouse right now, and the bullseye of this SA2. Moving on to the aircraft, the green, you can make these any color you want, but the green is friendly, and red is bandit, slash bogey, and hostile. This will always have bogey here, because it doesn't know what the, the call sign is, so it'll just put bogey. And you, you already know it's hostile because it's red. So over here on the green side, or the friendly side, whatever side you're on, you will have the call sign, the altitude in thousands of feet, and the uh, ground speed in knots. So it's 390 knots across the ground. So it's not indicated, it's uh, knots across the ground. So it could be wind or the, the wind difference, but we're not going to get into that. But this is the ground speed of that aircraft that you see. And right here is the track distances, or the track dot, dots, that's where it's been. So you can kind of see if it's moving in a circle, or moving, or turning, or maneuvering. Kind of like right here, it's kind of maneuvering a little bit. And then this line, tadpole, is the direction it's heading. And the longer the line, the faster that contact is. So right here, you would have Texaco, let's say Texaco called out a, a bra call. So you could, you could left click on your mouse and drag. And the numbers come up as well. So it's bra 11531. And that'll be the bra call for Texaco 21. When you do drag, it takes away the call sign. So it's a little kind of weird. But when you hover over it again, 
it puts the call sign back. So you could be like bra one 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 zero thirty six bogey il seventy six. You can actually give the the type and the altitude and speed of the aircraft if you put your hover your mouse over it there. As you can see, there's there's threat circles and there's SA two. So these pop up whether in two D or in 3D, but the threat circles and steer point lines do not pop up if you're not in 3D. So it's always good to have these circles here in a SA2 or whatever, whatever the uh, the threat is. Whether SA2, that's SA5 there. So go ahead and play around with this. You can go to Edit Options. You could change the colors of all the different things. So really, really customizable, and just make sure you could see. You can actually see the the lines here because if you made this blue or something or green or it's the same color as another line, it would kind of get confusing.